Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Element Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to send status update or tweet to Twitter. Now, already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Twitter Post for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what we're going to be basically doing is sending little status updates or little bits of text or little, you know, kind of tweeting stuff to your Twitter account. Now before you want to start, make sure you're logged into your Twitter account, either if you're building on your device or on the simulator. This way when we come to build it and we test it out, you're already logged in so you won't have to do any extra information or such and such. So two things we need to do is add our social and our account uh, frameworks. So to do that we go to our build phases and drop down link binary of libraries. Click the little plus symbol at the button there and simply type in social and it will pop up there, just add that in. Click it once more and we get our accounts one in. There's just here, there we go. Now once we've done that, we need to head over to our viewcontroller.h where we can add them both in. So all we need to do is put hash import and then we need to name it, or uh, name our ones we've added in. So we need to do, oh, make sure we select the more than and plus than symbol one. So our social framework there and then we need to import our accounts framework. So once that's done, you can go to our UI view controller here, do space, bracket, and press enter. Bit of room there so you can clearly see what I'm typing out. And then we need to put SL Compose View Controller. This will be our Compose sheet that will pop up and enable us to enter text and other stuff so we can post um, or tweet it to Twitter. And then we do our at, um, asterisk there. I'm simply, I'm simply going to name it My SL Composer Sheet. Nice and simple, and that with a um, quotation mark there. And then uh, we, after the bracket here, we need to create our action button to enable us to um, interact with it. So we do dash bracket IB action, and in the highlight section here, we simply put post to Twitter, nice and simple, and then do space at the end. Oh, not an end, sorry. We do um, quotation mark at the end, sorry. And just simply highlight that there and just copy it. And then if you jump into our view controller.m, and as we copied it, it's uh take us a little, be a little bit quicker than writing it all out again. And then just after the quotation mark at the bottom here, simply paste that in and then get rid of the curly bracket, do space, bracket, and enter. Yeah, uh, just for your little enters there so you can clearly see what I'm typing. And now we need to add the code to load up and display our um, composer sheet so we can tweet really. So what we do, we do our name of our composer sheet, we'll give it, so my SL composer sheet, space equals space bracket bracket, uh, SL composer view controller, space a lock, uh, and then bracket space in it, and that very bracket in a semicolon. And we kind of repeat the process again, and then we do space equals space bracket, uh, SL Composer View Controller space Compose View Controller for, for service type. Now in the service type here we select which uh, kind of network you want to post to. So we do SL Service Type there and we select our Twitter one. So we add that in and add a bracket in a semicolon. Now we do bracket uh, my SL Composer Sheet again space set initial text add that in the highlight section, you do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, end that with a bracket, and we press enter. We'll come back to this in just a moment. And we just finish up the last little bits of code. So we do self space present uh, view controller, and then we do my SL composer sheet animated. We do yes, and then the completion, we do not. In that with a bracket, then a semicolon. Now we come back to this little section here, this set initial text. Here, in between the two quotation marks, you can have preset text already ready to tweet uh, if you type anything in here, or you can leave it blank, leave, um, allowing your users to add whatever they want. So let's put it simply, hello, this is text. Make sure I get the capitals right. There we go. So when we go to tweet, this will already be in the little text box already preset. Now you can add other stuff in here, such as scores or you know URL links to the app. It's entirely up to you what you add, but uh, it's very simple to do. Now if we go to our main dot storyboard, and um, we just need to simply drag in a button. So we just simply place that in, and 
we simply write send a tweet. Make sure when we spell it right, there we go. And now we click on the little view control at the bottom or at the top here. And make sure you're on the connections inspector tab at the very end. And then in the actions here, we got post to Twitter. Either click and drag or right click and drag and send it to. Um, Okay, we'll click on the send to uh, tweet button here. Uh, select any option here. You can do simple touch up inside, whatever one you need. And once you've done that, we can go to build and run and test it in the simulator. Okay then, so now once it's built to the simulator, you can see you've got a button in the center here. Uh, as I'm already logged into my Twitter account on the simulator, we don't need to do any additional kind of configurations. So we press simple send a tweet. Once it comes up, you got a little Twitter box here, the text box with uh, our preset text, which we already selected to be "Hello, this is text." You got the amount of characters left that you have remaining, as Twitter only allows you 140 characters, as you may already know. Got a simple keyboard at the bottom and our at and hash kind of buttons there for all the Twitter functions that you need. You even got the options here to add a location from where you're tweeting. Maybe you're in a certain landmark or a certain location that you want people to know you're in. So it's all there, and once you press the post button, that will simply go straight to Twitter, and you simply tweeted from within your app. So it's a great feature to add in your applications. You can have your users share the application, share the content within the application, even if they're playing a game and you want them to share their score to their friends, getting their friends to try and beat it. The possibilities are endless with sharing to a social network. So I hope this, app, um, this tutorial helps in your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, make sure you like and favorite the video as it really does help us out. Uh, send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials. If you just want to, or if you want to leave a little bit of feedback or you got a problem, we can we can simply help you out. We don't mind. Uh, make sure you go search all our apps or on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got it in my pinky. I got it in my... No, it's not my pinky. I got it in my finger.